Okay, so today I'm going to make a quick video on the differences, if there is any, between charging a phone that has USB 3.0 with a USB 3.0 cable versus a USB 2.0 cable. Now, uh, in order to do this, we have a Galaxy S5, a slightly older phone, but I just got it uh, refurbished, so it's more or less brand new running the stock ROM and it came with a brand new charger that comes with the Galaxy S5 as well as the USB 3.0 charging cable that comes with the Galaxy S5 here in the United States. In other countries uh, for some reason they never came with a USB 3.0 cable, they only came with USB 2.0 now to make sure this test is as unbiased as possible, we are not using a cheap USB 2.0 cable. Uh, we are using the Anchor Powerline Plus, which is arguably one of the best uh, charging cables on the market. Um, I've had <laughs> a lot of good experience with this cable, it's uh, one of my favorites. But in order to measure the differences, if there's any, between the two, uh, we have an app here called Ampere, or Amper, however you want to pronounce it, and it measures uh, how much charge you're actually getting with your device. Now, just idling here, I'm losing 200, or I'm sorry, 450 milliamp um, at any given time. So, what we need to do is plug up the USB 3.0 cable first in order to get a baseline and it'll tell us how quickly we're charging. Okay, so we have the device measuring at the moment. And we get 1200 milliamps. So that is with the USB 3.0 cable from Samsung. Brand new cable connected to a brand new charger that comes with the Galaxy S5 connected to the Galaxy S5, which is, for all intents and purposes, pretty much brand new on the stock ROM. Now, we're going to switch over to USB 2.0 and see if there's any difference. Alright, now we're measuring once again. And we are getting 1200 milliamps again. And this is using the USB 2.0 cable. As you can see, the last part of the USB 3.0, or the capability that would make a 3.0, is not being used. And this is, once again, plugged up to the stock charger that comes with the Galaxy S5. Now, here's the thing. I knew there wasn't going to be any difference, because from an engineering and hardware standpoint, there wouldn't be any difference logically. USB 3.0 has more pins and wires in the cable, but none of those pins or wires have anything to do with charging. They are strictly just for data. That's why you can use a USB 2.0 cable and still get the same charging capabilities. Any extra quick charging you may experience from using a USB 3.0 cable is purely placebo. And if there is any genuine difference, it's generally because of using a cheap USB 2.0 cable. And that happens to be the case for a lot of situations. There are low quality cables, simply just don't carry the charge as efficiently. And that results in a slower capability of charging. So hopefully this answers this kind of modern day age old question, I guess you would call it and uh, puts this finally to rest. So, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, show your friends, check out my other videos, I got plenty of them, and as always, I will see you next time.